What is up in army? I am Gaming Air 5 coming at you with a brand new video and welcome to day one of the Army Christmas countdown of 2023 coming from our beautiful world on the Naircraft SMP server. This is not actually where the countdown is taking place, but this is usually where we start events. So I'm starting here. Anywho, welcome to the SMP server. This is the hosting server of this year's Christmas countdown to kind of mix things up. Last time we were in uh, the Christmas, uh, it did the Christmas countdown from uh, from uh, the SMP server. It was by far one of our most ambitious ones. And this year is no, uh, no different. This one's ambitious. This one's extremely ambitious. And, uh, well, there's not really any other way to put it. This one's ambitious. Yeah. Anywho, uh, so, I have been told what to do today, uh, when we get there, um, being that it, Unlike last year, we don't have, um, boxes. <laughs> uh, at least for the first day, we don't have boxes telling us what we are to do and stuff and yada, yada, yada. So this year, we're just going completely off the book, off the rails, and hopefully we don't, uh, derail a train. Um. <laughs> But um, in all, all, all things aside, this should be a fun month. I'm excited to be doing this again. We always have fun doing the Christmas countdown. And this year, we're taking it above and beyond. But this year, uh, if you didn't see the data dump yesterday, explaining this year's, um, let me run it through a little bit. We're not just going to be working on a Christmas thing. Kind of like last year, we didn't work, we didn't pretty much work on a Christmas thing at all. This year we will be splitting between uh, what we are calling Christmas Mountain and the Nordic Hub. The Nordic Hub is a upcoming hub on the in the aircraft server that um, is similar to this but a lot smaller and uh, we are going to help finish that uh, off and uh, going by um, everything planned I'm it's looking like the first couple days are uh, finishing off the Nordic hub then we will switch to Christmas Mountain and um, so on and so forth we will get that done in second and uh, now that is by far gonna be the biggest part uh, Christmas Mountain uh, and yet we're starting that last that will be, like, I'm wanting to say probably around mid-month, uh, Christmas Mountain will start to really take shape. The Nordic Hub is already taking shape, being that it's already been in use. So, uh, it's all, build teams have already been there, uh, building it up and such, and, well, now we get to go there, finish it, and get this Christmas countdown started. So uh, without further ado, let's hit this button on the big Christmas countdown thing. And let's teleport to, to the Nordic Hub in the Arctic Tundra. Ta-da! Magic! <laughs> Not really, but hey, get, you take what you can get. Uh, so this is the Nordic Hub. Nobody has seen this. It is very snowy, as uh, anything Nordic should be, I guess. Um, well, we're in a tundra. I, I don't think we're uh, uh, walking on snow. But uh, I don't. Well, I think this kind of confirms it. I think we're walking on mud. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is the Nordic hub. It, as you can tell, it is not complete. It is not complete whatsoever. It is now snowy. Oh, great. 
So uh, this is wonderful. <laughs> so uh, the Nordic Hub, um, this is going to be a, another uh, like main area on the server. And by the time we're done with it through the Christmas countdown, it should be ready to be used as a normal hub. Hopefully. So, uh, yeah. And then quickly before we actually start, I will show you, uh, Christmas Mountain where that will be getting built. I do know the location. Uh, well, mostly because there's, I'm pretty darn certain be, from posts and stuff that we've gone. Uh, that, uh, that is a teleporter. The slave's, uh, warp point to get to the, to the Christmas Mountain. Well, I have a lot of horses. <laughs> They're meant to be reindeer. I, I can tell you that. <laughs> that it's a Christmas area. This is where uh, Christmas uh, Mountain is being built. It is going to be here. This really big red box. Which I know that probably looks kind of daunting. <laughs> The red, giant red box surrounding an entire mountain. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're and we're just starting this uh, later down the line. Yeah, it's not as fun as you would think. It doesn't look that good. <laughs> it does not look fun. But uh, let's go back to the Nordic Cup. Um, and uh, let's do day one. Right, let's get that one out of the way uh, so we can continue onward with this event. And, uh, so on and so forth. So, uh, I, as I said, I have been told what it is because we don't have boxes, at least for today. Uh, we might have boxes for day two. I'm not sure if we will yet. I've been told. But, um, yeah, as you can see, you can't really see where paths are. I don't know if that was the desired effect or, uh, if something is to be done about that. A leader down the line, but nonetheless, quite snowy. <laughs> so, this is what we are working on today, day one. Now, this is not the only day building that has a day one on it. This does too, along with that, and along with that. So, all four of these are day one. So, we are going to complete. I'm the interiors of these buildings today. And uh, you might be thinking, well, that seems quite boring, but man, day one, we don't like going extremely crazy with day one, mostly because it's the first day. We don't want to wear ourselves out immediately. So day one, getting all four of these. It's crazy, but not that crazy. And, uh, well, I think you get the point. Um, I'm not entirely certain how I'm going to time-lapse this. <laughs> because interiors are not the easiest thing to time-lapse. But, uh, nonetheless, we will get to building this. It will be probably the quickest day. Um, not gonna lie. And I'm probably just gonna do the same thing in all four of them. And pro and then I'll at the end of the video I'll pick which one I'm gonna stay in for the remainder of the Christmas countdown. So uh yeah, now that we're in in the warmth inside, we're probably also gonna need to fix this. That doesn't look entirely good. I thought there was a hole. Well oh, that's probably not supposed to be there. So uh, yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll fix up the interiors of the um of what are being called the shelters, and I can kind of understand that it's cold, it's wet, it's um it has a lot of polar bears, especially in this direction, probably <laughs> being that there's uh, a, a a snowy peak right there. Yep. There's polar bears. <laughs> I would zoom in, but uh, we don't have Optifine at the moment. <laughs> um, 
Yeah. Yeah, so uh, let's not go down there. Well, that's an interesting one. I feel like we'll be going down there eventually. Going by the size uh, where the, the way this one is laid out. Uh, anywho, uh, let's get to work. Let's uh, get these interiors done. And so I can probably get started with day two. If they want to get me started on that early. Anywho, let's go.
Okay, so the interior is done. I don't have my earbuds in. <laughs> so I can't hear myself. <laughs> I felt like things were sounding weird. There we go. Now I can hear myself. Anywho, uh, interior is now complete for the four shelter buildings. Um, I only showed the time, showed me doing one of them, but I did it in a really dumb way that I did. I placed the camera up there and I pretty much didn't. Well, I had it here at first when I did the, uh, fixing of the, uh, roofing. Then I moved it up and that's where it stayed for the rest of the time lapse. So, um. Yeah, I could have easily just sent it up. Uh, I could have easily just done that one up and sent it, send it above, and you just see me running around like a little mouse. <laughs> I I might do that then if we have something like this in the future, but uh, I didn't for this one. Oh well, and uh, well, it's done. So I'm just gonna walk you through one of them, and that's gonna be shelter one, the one you guys actually saw get built. Um, oh, hold on one sec. There we go. <laughs> um, so, let me close that. Uh, so I decided to put bookshelves here. Um, also, I don't know why. <laughs> then I put a, a little crafting area over here. This made sense. Then I put bunk beds. I don't know why I put decided to go bunk bed route, but I did. Uh, there's currently no storage other than book storage. Uh, that was a bit of an afterthought, I guess. But uh, I guess I could have probably put storage up here, probably put like barrels over there um, and uh, have that be storage. I didn't. <laughs> I might decide to do that um, off camera in between this day and the next day. But that knowing me and knowing how busy this gets, probably won't happen. Anywho, um, yeah, so it's uh, it's done. They're done. They're all, all four done, and they all look uh, pretty darn nice. But um, now what are we going to do is the big question. What are we gonna, wh where are we gonna live for the remainder of the month here? And we're we gonna live in one, uh, weirdly, this is one, this is two, this is, this is number three, and this is number four. Now, weirdly, I think I'm gonna go number four. <laughs> Just be completely out of the way, It'd be the most annoying whatever. <laughs> So, as you can see, they literally all look the same. This is literally what we were just in. Uh, it's kind of like a little hotel room. Uh, if you've been in a hotel, they look pretty much the exact same in every single room. Doesn't matter which room you're in, they look the same. So, that looks all the same. So, um, yeah. No other way of putting it. So... Yeah, that will do it for day one of the Christmas countdown. I'm going to go over here because I need to get a thumbnail picture. And I was thinking, what do I want to do for the thumbnail picture of today? Well, I thought about it. I know what I want to do. <laughs> so I'm going over here. I'm going to climb up here and uh, take a picture looking over the uh, Nordic village. So uh, with that, guys, I'm GameNear5 from the Anarmy team signing off. I hope to see you all in the next video tomorrow with day number two of the Christmas countdown. With that, see ya!